Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning, guys. And today our topic is artificial neural network. It is coming from the module two, and we have to know the uh, know this artificial neural network, and then we can go for the computation purpose. Uh, if you go for your project, and if you go for your or uh, further study, then uh, eventually you will deal with this uh, artificial ne neural network. Moreover. This artificial neural network is a one of the smart computing techniques. Uh, I am saying the smart computing techniques, okay, hey, which will cover all of our uh, advanced uh, technology. Okay, uh, look, what is the smart technology, or what is 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 the intelligent or not smart? Uh, say for an example. Uh, if you go for normal PLC based automation or microcontroller based automation, then you get the only the controller can obey the program and it has no decision capabilities, decision taking capabilities or decision making capabilities. So it became just like a robot. Okay. But if you want to perform a smart technology, uh, then you have to go for this artificial neural network, deep learning, machine learning, etc. So artificial neural network is one of the uh, pillar of this smart technology, smart at controlling system. So uh, uh, this is the very, very important to us to know. And in previous introductory classes, you have seen and if you uh, if you programmed a controller or with the artificial neural network and put some inputs, then it can segregate which one is uh, uh, actually, which one is the perfect. Say you put some uh, uh, picture of cat and you put some uh, picture of dogs or picture of any creatures. But if you programmed this uh, program such a way that it can segregate it, uh, a dog, segregate a uh, cat, or any animals, whichever you have done, and by its predefined feature, then uh, it will easily segregate this process. Uh, which one is, uh, which one categories it is going under? Or, uh, is it a cat, is it a dog, or is it a, any other animal? So in this way, you can, uh, you have just seen this, but uh, uh, if you go for the artificial neural network study, then uh, we have to know details about it. Um, though we have no practical, but I will try to do it, it uh, so that uh, at least one one experiment or one um, uh, Python uh, um, programming I can show you uh, later on. And so that you can really understand and it will be very basic and very simple. It, uh, you will get idea about this neural network. And here is a lots of uh, studies are there, lots of programming aspects are there, just like TensorFlow. If you go for TensorFlow, uh, if you go for Python, there is a lots of modeling link aspects for uh, this neural network. And uh, guys, uh, if you uh, study, because our world is going uh, very faster and it will, will advance day by day. So now it is automation and then other thing are became quite uh, backward. And now artificial intelligence, uh, these are the main hot kick nowadays. So uh, I think we have a uh, huge scope to learn this, how to image process, how to um, regression, these are there. Okay, and uh, so we have to know from very basic so that we can do this. Program is just like a, arranging a code if, with a proper manner. But if you don't know the basic, then you can't and make a proper program. Okay, so now uh, we, we, we go for this basic part. First, it is coming, one of the pillars is artificial neural network. So neural network, first is neural network. What is neural network? So neural, neural is coming from the word a neuron. We know the all is neuron, neuron kya hota hai? 
हम लोग जो शरीर में जो जो नार्थ सेल है उसी को हम लोग न्यूरल बोलते हैं सो न्यूरल इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द न्यूरल एंड द नेटवर्क इज जनरली ए ग्राफ सो दिस इज कॉल्ड न्यूरल नेटवर्क नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू से हेयर इज ग्राफ मीन्स ए नेटवर्क बट एज एन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर you we, you all are going to be be graduated with this degree electrical uh, engineer but the uh, in front of you a network will say a network will say just like a grid yeah just like it uh, internal connection but graph is uh, uh, quite different from the network it looks like a graph it looks like a network but graph has some weighted path means the connector had some weight if you go for this graph uh, path then you have to to achieve or amplify something say 5 volt is going through a path then 5 volt is multiplied with some say uh, you have seen uh, i just want to to uh, show you this amplifier pid controller you, you, uh, proportional integral controller so ja i just want to say about the proportional controller look say this is the path say, say this is the path if you put some x value of voltage then you get some y value of voltage but what happens it is it is x is multiplied with this gain this gain is coming from uh, depends on this rf if you have seen all this if you if you change this gain again say 1.5 One say one point five. Then if we put some three volt, volt then it will coming one point five into three. Uh, what happens one point five into three? What whatever it is coming four point. Uh, just like four point five. Uh, this much of amount of it will coming. Okay. So it will be amplified. Or if you put some something. Uh, divide divide is say point five. Say uh, this is point five. This much coming. This is point five. Then what happens? Three will be just one point five. The value of the output will be five. So this path, this path has some weight, and this is the main difference of this graph and this network. Okay. uh guys i think you will get uh, this point because we have to do uh, all of this throughout this chapter we have to perform this in this way okay now we are coming to the another point ann are also known as other names just like neural nets artificial neural systems parallel distributed processing systems and connection uh, uh, a uh, connect connect yes connectioning in system theek hai and to aise karke hum logo ko do teen jagah pe alag alag difference names se hum logo ko jana jata hai kyunki agar socho tum uh, artificial an if we go for the an and then and then this term is generally available in python deep learning machine learning and other names are also available in other aspects okay so these are the others name and for the next point look this is this is the main introduction i am telling and then i will explain what is neural network and then uh, another part for a uh, for a computing system to be called by this is pretty names this is for computing system it is called this this name neural network like uh, it is it is necessary for the system to have a labeled directed graph structure where nodes perform some simple computation okay and this this point will be discussed just like here okay just remember it and i will uh, just uh, discuss it okay so directed graph means directed graph this graph has some direction direction and another is it some have weight Say this is W one is what is. Just I give you the example uh, of an amplifier or uh, P and I controller, P or PID controller, whatever is there. 
so directed graph consists of sets of nodes this is also called vertices and the set of connect, uh, connections this is also called edge links arc etc okay uh, somewhere it is also called path for the graph theory it is also called path okay uh, another is the connect uh, this this is used for connecting these two nodes a graph is said to be a labeled graph if each connection is associated with a label to identify some property of this connections so these are the point these are the uh, basic features of a neural network now we have to realize this what are this first it is it is it is said that this neural network has some directed graph means the di label directed so this all are the links edge or this is the input links these are the directed look this is the directed arrowhead is there and each are labeled this is the x1 x2 x3 and dot 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 this is up to xn and this uh, point is called node or vertices because uh, not because this is vertices here all of these things are coming here it became a summation and then it is function then it is going to the another part okay or something it is summation and then it is going to this part look after only except the input and this output links the in between the links which is the called uh, uh, path or the uh, edge uh, and these are the weighted and directed look it has some weight w1 w2 just like an operational amplifier or you have uh, seen some um, uh, um pid controller say uh, because this you have habituated with this pid controller in your previous paper that was uh, automation and in this case if it is a integral circuit so if it is a integral circuit then what happens the input is integrated input value is integrated if there is a sine wave there is a cos wave and these are the in sine wave minus sine wave whatever or uh, if if we allow some some input to this path this is the derivative part a uh, derivative amplifier then what happens this output will get it derivated from so this it has some weighted and it has some label so you can say this this uh, lines and it is looking like just like a network lines but it is actually not a network lines it is a some small circuit small amplifiers or some variation type conditions are there so that if the inputs are passing through this path or uh, passing through this connector then it will change something okay so this is the main difference between this uh, network and this graph network so we are talking about guys we are talking about artificial neural network in this artificial neural network our neuron is just neural Uh, look uh, neural is uh, neuron is just like this nodes and the network is uh, comprise of this type of links and this connectors okay links and connections so it is the main difference of other networks and neural network so guys from up to this discussion hope you can get a basic idea regarding neural neural network or uh, this is the artificial neural system uh guys if you have any question you may ask me have you any question any of you then we will go for the next uh, part generally one by one i going for the uh, for the discussion guys have you any question okay now i am going to the next part okay so we are uh, we want to go for the some other things uh, other example to uh, distinct example but uh, action is same then we can realize what is the neural network and what is the normal network or normal gra graph okay look guys here is the node or the or you can say this is the summing point and this is the input links input links we are showing this is round shape but this is the just like a input links okay and this is the input say we are going to operate some and get 
and gate operation okay so what happens if there is a there is a summing point or the conditional point then it's just just multiplied okay okay so x is the input which x is generally binary so this is 0 or 1 this is x2 is the another input this is a 0 or 1 now whenever it is coming it's become ended just like a multiplication or this ended and it is going to the output x whatever x is and whatever uh, x2 is just like it is multiplied and this is called vertices and it is coming this is vertices now this is you can this is a normal and gate graph but you can't say this is a neural network so uh, if you have uh, seen this you can see uh, this is looks like same uh, things but actually this is not a graph why uh, this is not a neural network why this is called graph but not neural network why one part of neural network because the from this definition or from these uh, features you have seen the connections must have some uh, direction and yes here is some direction but it is not not weighted it is not weighted that's why it is not getting any any uh, neural network aspects it is not getting any credit for, for as a as a neural network it is because it, 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 this is not weighted look the connections between these nodes are fixed and appear to play no other role okay this is fixed it it couldn't be changed if you put some x1 value is zero then it will carry zero if it is uh, it is given x1 value is one then it will carry only one it it couldn't have any properties to change it or any properties to increase it or any properties or capabilities to decrease it so in this aspect this is only a and gate graph this you can't say this is the and grid it neural network okay so output is just like x1 and x2 means just ending operation but if you go for this neural network graph neural network then we have to put some weighted it look in this case we have with this connector getting some um weightage look this is x1 if this it is following this path then it will multiply it with this x1 so we will get x1 w1 if this is the x2 and this path is weighted with the w2 then it's became x2 w2 okay this is the main main difference uh, between the a normal graph and the weighted graph graph have some direction but it may have may not may have some weight may not have some weight if they have some weight then it becomes a neural network and this is a basic property but it has some another property after few minutes you will get this what is the different exactly different property of this nodes from other other node in available in graph so a graph a graph structure which contains the weight it which would be modified it using a learning algorithm and okay so this you can see this is this is the graph is a graph has some weight and it could be modified and and this modification is done by some algorithm okay learning algorithm means it is a training thing okay then this type of uh, system is called this type of system is called neural network so you have seen this this uh, this node not only the summing point this has the summing point as well as the function point so uh, this weight can be varied varied how could it vary it with some predefined programming predefined programming or you can say this is is the learning algorithm because there are there are some difference between the learning algorithm um, and the programming look programming in this programming you get uh, various type of conditions but if in case of the learning algorithm learning algorithm has the decision which type of program it will run at this time okay say if we, uh, it is the main difference from a smart and a robot smart system or the the robotics or obeyed system okay uh, so say you have put some program 
but if if it follow only it can follow this program but it has no capabilities no abilities to decide which program say if there is a two three program um it has no decision making capacity to take one or two yeah five the five number of program but whenever it go for the neural network then it it has some functions or it has some training rule with in this training or the learning mechanism it has it has adequated with this capacity to choose which program it needs to be be adopt okay so this is the this, uh, this is uh, became the different differentiation addition of a normal robotic mechanism or the smart mechanism okay so uh, then it is called the neural network okay so it is just weighted and it is uh, weighted and it has some um label value and in this case you get some summation and get some functions because after summation which things it needs to represent it will it will decided by the functions so this is called the the network uh, neural network okay this is called neural network and this is called neural uh, not neural this is the only graph this is the and and gate neural network this is the and gate graph okay so uh, i think you can understand this now i want to say a uh, something different of this deep deep things look here is the structure of a artificial neural network look this is you uh, up to this you have seen just it is coming and it is uh, giving some output but no this is the basic part if you go for the difference uh, very deep part deeply learn then you can see within this node there is a two part is there first one is what are the weighted input are coming then it will sum and after then which thing it have to present it will define by this by this functions and this is the decision making capability so if you if we uh, these all are the matches with the the neural uh, human neuron that's why this is called neural network or uh, neural system um, but now we have to realize this is how could it how could it it do uh, taking decision making capability uh, now if we go for some uh, example say this is uh, one of your neuron uh, one of your brain or a, a part of your neuron okay say in this case in this case uh, different different inputs are coming say uh, you are uh, uh, you are sitting in at a place where temperature is getting rise is which is not affordable by the uh, human cells that is the x1 i am uh, i am one by one uh, showing you uh, look this is the temperature okay this is the temperature say temperature is coming 70 degree fahrenheit okay 70 degree fahrenheit theek hai this is the x2 where you are getting some mosquito is biting you okay this is the mosquito is biting you at this time uh, here some input but uh, here some input where some calling bell is also ringing look here is the calling bell calling bell is also ringing or buzzing okay this is the input this input are same um, just like a similarities but whenever you put some weightage look you are sitting at a at a uh, t1 second say t1 second or you may say at the 5 pm just like 5 pm at that moment these three inputs are coming to your or uh, human body so what happens weightage are applied then which things are very very uh, priority based look mosquito is biting you for one or three second one or five second okay this is for the five second so you have weighted something in say this is the weight is is five someone is calling you or your mobile is calling you so this is 
this may be at least one minute. It can be span what minute? This is the seventy degree Fahrenheit. So you can stay here up to up to thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. So which thing are very much short uh, time or priority based? Look, mosquito mosquito biting is for only five seconds. So you have to you have to kill it or you have to flow uh, uh, it or blow it. Uh, otherwise, it may uh, it may give you some pathogens or maybe causes some disease or this is irritating also because biting is there. So this is the first priority base. Then it is a uh, this phone is ringing for one minute or it may be uh, calling you may call back so you put some weightage for the second priority not weightage this is second priority and this is the temperature you have to on some um, fan or you have to put some uh, put away the temperature source so it will get 30 minutes you, you it will provide 30 minutes not not very necessary so you Use some priority base. It is the third priority base. So, so this is the causes of weightage. So, this weightage must be higher because it is the first condition. So, weightage of three is much much higher. Weightage of the three is much much higher. And, and this the weightage of two is medium basis second priority. And weightage of x one is the less priority basis. So, whenever this is weighted. Then what happens? Then x1 all are weightage. Then it is the coming out with the summation base. But means here is it became a summation because x1, x2, w1, x2, x3, w2 are just coming and it is at the sum at the conditional stuff. But it is not a smart one. Now function is the another program or the training. Which will which will make the uh, which will make assured to take the decision which things you have to perform it which thing you have to perform it now as per the time basis this is the first one but as per the say weightage is variable as per the as per the time basis this is this is very varying because it is sustainable is one second two second. But as per the as per the the uh, priority of your importance, say this is calling from say this this, this one is W uh, weightage is W W one okay another priority weightage is W W two another priority means W W double W say your boss is calling now then what happens? Whenever you have seen in your mobile, the, your boss is calling now. Then what happens? The all of this work became less prioritized than this this one. So at this moment, the functions is another uh, different. Say this is x one. I am going to the red. This is the x one and w w one w w one. So this priority and this summation basis priority became higher. So this is the this is the rule base or the training base in which you will decide which program you have to follow. Say this is not your boss, uh, other person, your unknown person, some sales person. Then its priority became less. So you will follow you will follow these rules. But if this is the, your boss, then you will follow these rules. Or if it is a another thing, say so this is not a mosquito. This is a snake. This is a snake. This is a snake. So what happened? It may be boss or anyone. You have to put some higher priority for this snake. So in this way, in this way, we can this rule base or this function or this training can decide which type of program you have to choose at this moment. And so its function became uh, make this um, neural network a um, a smart one. Uh, guys, uh, have you get this point? I think uh, you 
you all have get this point otherwise uh, you can uh, you can go further for this neural network neural network is very important and interesting also okay uh, but if you couldn't listen to it or understand then it will uh, just became very hard hello guys anyone could you please answer rahul kumar anjali rani ashish kumar anish kumar prashant soren priti kumari anyone are you listening yes sir uh, could you get this point what are the difference kya difference hai normal प्रोग्रामिंग में और न्यूरल नेटवर्क और स्मार्ट प्रोग्रामिंग में जो एग्जांपल हम लोग दिए हैं उस पर कुछ समझ में आया यस सर ओके सो दिस इज द मेन डिफरेंस ऑफ रूलिंग बेस रूल बेस लर्निंग और द प्रोग्रामिंग सो प्रोग्रामिंग इज जस्ट लाइक ए वन सेट ऑफ प्रोग्राम और वन सेट ऑफ कमांड एंड एंड इट हैज सम डिसीजन मेकिंग इट Uh, it has no decision making com command in the programming or the coding is just have if else or some conditional uh, conditional statements it may have but in case of rule based learning there is uh, another master program which can uh, which can makes it makes it smart so that it can take some decision which program one uh, needs to be run at this moment so this is differentiate this artificial neural network from this other unsmart uh, technology okay now we are going for the history uh, very uh, few points of this history uh, uh, in the late 80s first the neural networks appears as an analogy basis with the biological system okay so only it uh, define some analogy but in the 1950 the barnard withdraw from the stanford university first introduce the properly as an artificial neural network and uh, he is called uh, this is called the pioneer okay of this neural network but it was not fully defined or fully program but fully operational things means basic operation it has defined only only introduced okay but after day by days it will added some regression method some back back propagation method or as a rule based programming okay or the learning based programming now in 1960 to 70s simple neural networks appears the it is it is artificial network and this is simple neural network the network is coming and 1986 the back propagation algorithm appears which is which is tends this neural network up to a next stage now features of an artificial ne neural network look it needs some records or example held to be as a positively possibly learning in possibly large set of tuples of attributes of value means you have seen that there is a lots of programming is there programming one programming two programming three okay so it needs some example means pre defined program it required so this is a this is a huge number of programming so if there is a only robot only one set of program you, you need to do but if it is a uh, if you go for or uh, some neural network then you have to put some um several points of program several set of programs because as uh, say whenever snake is coming then priority is difference so for snake the interruption should be the other program for your boss calling this is the other uh, other set of programming for your normal time based programming say mosquito is biting temperature is uh, rising and normal calling mail so this is the other program so you have to put some three sets of program is there so this uh, became the lots of example based program you have to introduce over there 
so if you put some uh, uh, several program set of program then attributes may be different and and value also be different so this is the main uh, main things means record based program you have to introduce okay so now the output value can be can be represented as a discrete value hello a real value or a vector of values this is the properties output how you could you, uh, could you present this output value if you put some discrete value then it will transfer to the controller uh, directly okay if you put some normal real value it will it may be in a uh, visual a uh, vdu visual display unit or some graphical methods okay or if you put some vector some value then it will go for the another um, another programming or another another action also okay and now to learn it is to learn to noise input data okay because input data may be may be noised or may be disrupted because lots of same type of inputs are and uh, implies here so one data can and make noise to the others this is the one uh, discredit of this is neural network and it needs some time factor because it because it takes long time to training because lots of set of program you have to introduce not one set of program here yeah, one program is there so lots of set of program is there and once it trained then it will take very less time to execute this is the main feature and now another feature is uh, it is hard for the human to interpret it the process of of prediction by an end because you as the the program and the vertices inputs are a number of use so human beings could not predict which type of output it will yield so this is difficult because you don't know how this is uh, it will decide to choose an program it it can do it itself so this is uh, some difficulties to choose uh, its prediction okay so you you, sh you should have fully depends on this neural network process okay so so there is a no option of set point value and the process value because process value whatever is given it is um it is not predictable so this is the uh, basic things of artificial neural network uh, if there is a time i oh, only one minute is less now uh, we are going to introduce those, uh, this is the biological neural model neuron model uh, which is just analogy with this artificial neural network look you can see the picture of biological neuron Uh, which is the uh, the components of our nerve cell now it's comprised with this four parts okay first one is dendrites dendrites means some thread like uh, thread like parts which can accept the inputs from the surface area or the surroundings okay this is the uh, this is coming the central point or it is called soma soma is the processing in unit it can process the input data and action action is the axon axon is the this is the line in in which the process data could be transferred into the output data for the others neuron okay whatever it may be processed it should be given transfer to other so it should be in a manner by which it should be the output for the others others neuron and this is the synapses which which can just connect connect with the other neurons so it can it can transfer this data by the from this axon to the other neuron this is the biological model model of the neural normal biological neural okay and you have